What's going on people? So today I'm going to give you a route that's going to open us up to four potential airdrops, two of them being ZK Sync and Layer Zero. I believe that those airdrops are just around the corner and we're also going to use the Jumper Bridge, which um, has not got a token yet. And we're going to use Sync Swap, which also has not got a token yet. So this route will allow us to move funds through these two chains and two protocols in a natural organic way. So it's not a Sybil looking transaction. And also the layer zero interaction is going to be a unique one um, where layer zero and ZK sync directly interact. Layer zero and ZK sync are going to be massive airdrops. We want to try and ensure that we are in on those airdrops. Um, this will take a little bit of gas, not that much, but as previous airdrops with these big layer ones and these bridges show, when you do burn a bit of uh, funds, a bit of gas money, it opens you up to a much bigger airdrop. I'm going to show you some bonus protocols for ZK Sync that we can use as well. But I just want to make clear, you don't need to do this all in one day. In fact, it's better to spread these transactions across multiple days, multiple days, weeks, months. It's always a strong criteria. And if you do loads of transactions on one day, it's going to make your wallet look like a bot. So um, yeah, make sure you spread these transactions out if you use the other protocols. The route from Jumper through ZK Sync to layer zero you can do that in one day no problem uh, but let's get right into it okay so first we're going to bridge some funds using jumper you can bridge from whatever chain you want i would advise using obviously a low gas fee chain i've used optimism so you're going to bridge some eth on the optimism chain over to zk sync gas fees will be one to two dollars okay and then on sync swap we're going to swap some of that eth into some stable coins so usdc or usdt and what you need to do is in this top right corner this is probably going to be a criteria for zk sync use the um you want to use non-eth gas so top right corner you can then choose usdt or usdc for gas so i've got it as usdt and then make the swaps using USDT as gas. Obviously, if you've got no USDT on ZK Sync already, then swap some ETH to USDT using the ETH as gas, and then do another swap with the, the gas transaction as USDT. And then some bonus protocols that we can use for ZK Sync to get some more unique transactions. As I said, remember, don't do all of these on one day, spread these transactions out, but we have Mute, they also have the gas um, option. So again, choose a stable, stable queen for gas. We then have Rango, which is a swap. They do not have a token yet. And then we have um, a bridge called Altu. And what we can do on here is you can do a daily check-in, which will be a transaction on the network that you're connected to. And then you can also do bridges, of course, you can inscribe as well. So you can just write a message here, any message and do an inscription and you can deploy smart contracts as well. So you can do it on ZK, scroll, linear. Um, but remember, don't do all of this on one day. And then finally, we're gonna bridge out of ZK Sync using Interport and this is gonna use layer zero. So as I said, this is quite unique where ZK Sync and layer zero directly interact. So this is a very good, um, very good protocol to use. So the gas fees on this are a little bit higher. They're going to be around three to four dollars. But yeah, you just want to bridge out to whatever um, whatever chain that you want. Make sure you've left some funds in ETH as ETH is going to be the gas fee to do the bridge from ZK Sync to whatever chain you choose. And that wraps it up. So there we have a nice route where we're interacting with ZK Sync and layer zero it's a natural route where we're moving funds through chains using bridges and swaps we have four potential airdrops with that one route zk sync layer zero jumper and sync swap then you have those other protocols rango not having a token how to you can earn points for doing bridges so um points usually mean token stress one more time don't ban these all out on one they spread the transactions it's going to increase your chances of an airdrop and doing loads of transactions on one day with any chain is going to probably decrease your chances of getting the airdrop if you've got any questions leave it in the comments i will get back to you like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha turn those notifications on i've got another test net coming today so keep your eyes open for that and i will see you in the next one